What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something which is quite cool, but also scary at the same time. And this is Google Maps Timeline. So I'm not sure how many of y'all would have actually gone into your Google settings, but in the privacy settings, they have a section which is called location history. And usually, that's always on for most accounts. So what Google has done is that using your location history, they've created an entire timeline on Google Maps. And using this timeline, you get to know exactly where you were any year, any day, any time. So this is quite interesting. So now I'll show you how it works. For this, your location history has to be on. So currently I'm using a PC, but this can also be done on your phone. So first, I'll just go to my Google account. So I'll click on these dots over here and then just click on account. Now I've got to go to privacy and personalization. After that, you can see that it's written location history and it's on. So now I'll click on this and now you can decide whether you want to keep it on or off. But obviously for the timeline, this has to be on. Now to go to your timeline, you've just got to go to manage activity. So over here you can see and delete past activity or another way of accessing this is just by searching Google Maps timeline. So you can follow any of the methods and they'll both take you to your timeline. So now you can see that this is my timeline. Your account will be on top. And after that, you have many options over here. So I'll quickly show you all of them. So first you can see where you were in which year. So now I've clicked here and I can see wherever I was in all these years. But obviously only if your location history was on. So let's say if I go to 2017, then you can see that the map has changed. And over here below, they showed me exactly where I'd gone. So you can see all the locations over here. After that, if you want to know where you went in a certain month. So in 2017, let's say January, I'll click on that. So now you can see that primarily it was in Mumbai. And you can also get a more detailed look into this by seeing where you had gone on a certain day. So now if I just go to day and if I go to 17th January 2017 They show you exactly where you had gone at what time how you went So this is quite cool So they've given all the info over here and you can also see the distance you had traveled and what time exactly you had gone and come back This is essentially how it works So that's one way that you can see all the places where you've gone then another way is by seeing all the places that you've ever been to so if I just click over here then I get a list of all the places that I've gone to and they've also shown me the number of days I've been there for. And if I click on it, you'll get even more details of what time you went, where you went. So this is another cool thing. So if you want to delete a certain location from your history, you can just go to that place either via going to all the places or if you want to delete a certain day, you can follow the earlier method of year, month and day. So I'll just show you how it works. So right now I've gone to 2021 January. Let's say I want to delete Sunday, January 10th. So I'll click on it. So I can see where all I went and to delete it, I'll just click on the delete icon over here. So they'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete it. I'll click on delete day. So now if I search Sunday, Jan 10th, there's nothing coming over here. So the same way you can just look for any other day and delete any event that you want. And if you want to delete all of your history, there's a way to do that as well. You've just got to click on this timeline button. So this will take you to the home page. And now you've just got to click on delete, which is over here. So now if I click on it, they'll ask me if I'm sure if I permanently want to delete all of my location history. And if you want to just click on this box and then click on delete location history. And if you want to stop Google from tracking your location, you can just go to location history. So I'll click on manage location history. So over here, I'll just click on the bar and now it's off. So this is basically how Google timeline works. And I hope this video helped you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.